Hello, everybody. This is LOTB. And a shade shot who's looking at a nature's profit that has take aim for some reason. And we're bringing you a Dota 2 ability draft. Yeah, we're kind of excited about this one. Totally cool, man. Totally cool. Anyway, let's see what wackiness we got here. Uh, we have a Crystal Maiden with Death Pact. Seconds to battle. That's weird. Alright. Let's go ahead and introduce the players, taking time to mention their abilities, too. Unfortunately, we didn't get here quite in time to check out the drafting pace. Uh, we have Ness running the Nature's Prophet with Take Aim, Rage, Mana Break, and Mana Void. He's gonna have fun with those. We've got Tate on the Life Stealer, who has Headshot, Strafe, Open Wounds, and Phantasm. We've got a Crystal Maiden being played by someone from Russia, who has taken a rank in Earth Spike, and she's also got Hex, Crystal Nova, and Death Pact. Let's see here. We've got Mig Samurai on the Sniper, who has Liquid Fire, Mana Train, Shrapnel, and Assassinate. It's going to be a good game. And we've got Death Prophet being played by Marquez de Bredeman, I probably horribly mangled that pronunciation, with Heat Seeking Missile, Frostbite, Witchcraft, and Exorcism. It might be Mar Marquez de Bredeman, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, on uh, our friendly neighborhood Dyer, we have No Fear playing the Clanks with Feast, Chaos Strike, Reality Rift, and. Re rearm? Rearm and um, stuns, man. But he doesn't he doesn't have a stun, he has reality rift. Oh. Well that's also good to rearm. Well he can rearm items, I mean, that's that's okay. He can still he can rush bots, it'll work. Um for on we have Glory playing the Chaos Knight and Lion's eating it, but he blinks out because he has a he has an ability I haven't got to explain yet. We're watching uh we're watching a Chaos Knight with Searing Arrows try to do something, but he's about to die, actually. And there he goes. <laughs> happily, uh, he'll be, happily, he'll be able to get back to lane quickly because he has teleportation. He has teleports, Searing Arrows, Nature's Call, and Death Ward. Oh, God. We're not... Teleport Our friendly Death neighborhood Ward. lion has Blink, Ice Path, Paralyzing Cask, and Wrath of Nature. Tinker has Chaos Bolt, Arcane Hora, Laser, and Infest. And Witch Doctor has Skeleton Walk, Spell Shield, Maledict, and Finger of Death. Whew! Takes a long time to get through these heroes with stuff actually happening. And since my friend forgot to mention them, Chaos Knight is being played by Glory. We've got hey, Tulsing I remember on him. the Lion. We've got Huafei on the Tinker. And we've got Witch Doctor being run by Mao. Mow, mow. What a silly game. Ability draft by its very nature is silly. We're lucky we found one near the start. And uh, we're about to watch a Tinker die, unless... Nope, he's stunned forever. Never mind. Tinker's gonna live. Oh Tinker's okay. gonna die. So close. Oh! That was what, 30 HP? If that burn had lasted a little longer... So sad. A Tinker's gonna want to leave, though. Yeah, he's he's got to go back and heal now. Mig Samurai has some really nice attack range, even if he doesn't have take aim. He also has he also should have shrapnel, which is very, very painful. Why did he even take mana drain? Uh what was he sniper's hoping to get? Sniper's mana pool is garbage. That's what he was hoping to get—a better mana pool. I guess. Maybe he's Look, just man. hoping to annoy Tinker with it. That is a good strategy, but uh, you're not really annoying Arcane Aura off of him. Looks like he has Night Dying again, top. Lion landing an excellent Ice Path. Almost gets a kill on the Nature's Prophet. Being forced blink to retreat, he might not blink, make it out. Blink! Any blinks. Mana break attached to a range attack is silly. Insert any melee hero's ability. Give it to a ranged hero. You have automatically won. Marquez in a bit of trouble, being Searing Arrowed. Searing Arrow they... still has range? <laughs> That's why it's worth the mana cost, I guess. 
there's no projectile though, he just swings and... Man, this is great. That's how chaotic he is, man. He doesn't need a projectile. Death Prophet, possibly learning the hard way that Tinker's spells actually kinda suck if you can't rearm them. They are good for chasing people down if you happen to have something good for chasing them down, like witchcraft. But she hasn't got that far yet. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Tinker getting harassed really hard by that liquid fire sniper. Liquid fire and shrapnel together are pretty great. The problem is I don't think Tinker's really gonna let him just uh mana drain creeps to be able to use that all more often. He needs to suck a creep's mana out though. Oh, he's about to get ganked. He won't be able to do that. Yep, looks like Tinker's just waiting for his chance. And he'll find it, too. Blink Lion, here we come. Are you going to blink an ice path? Blink path? You going to blink? There There's you go. blink and the ice path. You called it. I thought he was going to screw it up, but he didn't. And Sniper instantly buys a TP scroll. He knows where he's going. Right back to mid. Well, to be fair, you can't really be losing that time in lane. Yes, but he's stuck in jail right now. Crystal Maiden going off to stack. Possibly. Maybe she's actually going to farm. Kind of hard to tell in an ability draft, but her abilities are stacky abilities. I heard an assassinate go off. Oh! Use it to harass, huh, Sniper? That's okay. You can do that. Sniper can't use it to harass. He doesn't have it. What do you mean? Sniper has assassinate. Oh. So he just did, actually. There's the there's local fire. Oh, but he's he's killed again. Is that this? Oh. That's right. It's not nature's profit that teleports around. It's Chaos Knight. Uh, the curse of being a caster during an ability draft game. Ultimately familiar with so many heroes. And yet that familiarity is now subverted. Invisible Witch Doctor. Oh god, Invisible Finger of Death. That is a good draw. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Skeleton walk finger a little too OP. Please, nerd. Oh! Dyer's top tower is Where's your mana now, Tinker? <laughs> and Death Prophet ulting apparently to kill herself. Dyer's top tower is being uh, I think she might be trying to get a little bit of life, I guess. Maybe. Does give you life, Steve. Dyer's sort of. top tower is under siege. Unfortunately, if someone sees you using it and just walks up to you and shoots you twice, you uh you die in shame. Death Prophet finding a DD rune, not gonna grab it. Chaos Knight teleporting in front of her, introducing himself. That's actually why I wouldn't That's actually why you don't use the ult. It's easier to see you. But unfortunately she walked in front of a ward, which uh That is a funny know. looking ward. Double damage. I don't know what is that. Uh, I can't easily check what kind of ward it is. That's disappointing. Yep. So it turns out Lion with Blink and two stuns is is still kind of OP. Nature's Prophet picked up some phase, which admittedly makes sense. He's got some serious right click. Unfortunately, he's about to have some serious death. Yeah. Unfortunately, he really can't be doing this across the map pushing stuff when his claim to fame is uh, teleporting and he doesn't have it. There's not a lot to say. An illusion. Cool. Cool. Which doctor just sending in another illusion? Hand of Midas up on Chaos Knight, who has. Where is he actually? Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. That's the clinks. Where is he? Getting? Sitting in fountain. Okay. Hand of Midas is off cooldown, man. You need to go use it. Go use that Hand of Midas. He's teleporting. Give him a chance. Okay. And now he's going to jungle because that's what you do when you have trees. That's what you do when you have teleport, too. Never mind that he doesn't really have the mana pool to do Nature's Prophet style antics. 
To be fair, he doesn't need to do any nature's prophet style antics. He just needs to get fed and start throwing arrows at people. And while all that's going on, Death Prophet And Lion gets assassinated, except Blink makes that fall off. God damn it, Lion. Murder spree. Meanwhile, Chaos Knight picking up another kill somewhere. Wife Stealer, uh, dead. So I like to note it's not all that impressive to get a headshot when you're in melee range. It's kind of like, uh, you can hit a lot of parts of the body. Maybe that's going to do like two extra damage when you're a melee hero. Nerf that a little bit. Man, the spell animation for that for that uh, mana tray just does not work right with Sniper. Also, they just got ganked and like two people died. It was cool. I had that on screen. Did you see that? No, I lost connection briefly and didn't notice anything. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we're about to see two more people die top. Got Prophet going out in a hurry. Makes run for his life, but he doesn't have rage. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to need it. Shared Tango sitting on the ground for no apparent reason. Tinker just grabs it, uses it, and picks his item back up. That's one stun Nakes. Sniper assassinating. If he throws shrapnel, he can do it. Oh. Please tell me you got the mana for one more assassinate. You know, it's, oh, the cooldown's so long at level 6. Uh-oh, Witch Doctor in trouble. Witch Doctor dead. I wonder why he didn't skeleton walk. Probably didn't think he had it. It can be a little awkward to get out of the mindset that you're playing a hero rather than just a collection of abilities. And a ranged attack sometimes. That is one happy nature's profit. Crystal Maiden's eating it. But she's going to salve up and ignore the, her problems. Has she even got one point in Hex? That's a classic mistake. Yeah. Hex is Crystal Maiden's most important skill, isn't it? Ah, Earth Spike's a little better, but the thing is, what's more important is that she doesn't have her Frostbite disable, so the dis even just the channel break from Hex is really good. I don't think anyone has a channeling ability on this on these teams, though. Illusion. Who picked up Death Ward? Oh, Chaos Knight is Death Ward. The channel break's really good, actually. Oh, man, that cask was absolutely sick. And it looks like it won't be enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, he pays for it with his life. Next time, try a crowbar. Death Prophet's gonna join a fight with her face rather than her ghosts. She's gonna pay for it when she gets it with the laser. Death Ward not doing much, Chaos Knight ultimately going down, but he's the only one, and they took out three Radiant Heroes. Scoreboard looking kind of one-sided. Graphs. Well, gold is actually surprisingly even, but the Dire do have a pretty decisive experience advantage at this point. Now, that's that's a, that's a quick lesson about playing Death Prophet. Your ghosts actually extend a distance from you. There's no reason to stand next to someone. Radiant's top tower is under siege. Especially if they're killing you to death. Link's going to do a little more jungle. I feel like this is basic and the Death Prophet we're watching should have known that. Okay, I think I know what Clink's thinking was. He knows that Rearm is stupidly broken in Ability Trap, so he grabbed it, and then he just didn't get anything that goes really well with it. I think everyone else thought, let's fuck this Clink's. And uh, it turned out his teammates thought it too. They hate rearm pickers. To be fair, rearm is the worst ability to run into. The worst. Chaos yeah, Knight getting sniped, he'll just solve up though. He, and then the solve will get broken by Crystal Maiden. He'll be in a bit of trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble. 
And down he goes. And Crystal Maiden steers a, steals a kill. Good job. Still no point in Hex. I hope we're going to see that level 8, Crystal Maiden. I really hope we're going to see that. Man, and we are not going to see that until 10. We're not going to see that until oh, 20. And Invisible Witch Doctor. And that's a dead sniper. Well, I wasn't even looking there. I was looking at the fight in the Radiant Jungle. And Lion gets to blink out, but Life Stealer isn't so lucky. Neither is Crystal Maiden, but maybe she'll... Nope, she's going to get hurt. Now, it looks like Life Stealer... Wait, where is Life Stealer? He teleported. He walked away. Oh, go figure. Crystal Maiden, meanwhile, going down, taken out by the Tinker. If they if they plan to beat this team, they should probably be investing in some detection. Radiant's top tower <laughs> They really need to they need to de ward, get rune control, get Roche control and all that other nonsense and get the hell out of this hole. Well, it's not as bad as it was just five minutes ago. Well, yes, but they're not they're not really saving themselves. The fact that the dyer isn't shitting in their head in their on their faces is saving them for the also, moment. Also, I lied, it is totally way worse the dyer are more than ten thousand experience ahead now. You lie on purpose or just not notice? I didn't notice. Ah. Radiance bottom tower is under siege. That happens. Radiant are doing a good job of trying to push towers, but pushing uh, towers. Dyer's is really doing a good job of killing this life stealer. No one seems to understand that they probably have a ward. Nate's Prophet going to just rage escape. Should probably have rage TP, but now it's a bit too late. Gets stunned up, and it looks like he'll be going down. Oh, but Crystal Maiden with the Earth Spike. And Snipe finishing Lion off. Good job, Sniper. Boom! Given chase to to the uh, tinker, but it looks like they won't get him. Or maybe they will. Or maybe uh, they will. Sn Sniper should have saved that for assassinate. It might have got the kill. And assassinate wasn't off cooldown. It was it was three seconds away from being off cooldown. He used it when it would have been. He used it. He used shrapnel instead. Visible chaos knight. This is why you have sentry wards. This is, this is why your sniper is dead. Um, I'm gonna just do a quick overview of the uh, of the Radiant team. Uh, Ra Nature's Prophet is in spawn, not by not buying sentries. Life Stealer has 200 gold, has not bought sentries. Crystal Maiden should have bought sentries by now, has not bought sentries. Life Stealer has been ganked by invisible heroes at least twice, has not bought sentries. And uh, Death Prophet. I don't expect that player to know where sentries are in the in the menu. Oh, hey, Crystal Maiden managed to not die. He's got a couple bracers now. Unfortunately, Life Stealer is about to feed bottom because they're going to come bottom and ruin his life. Bottom tower is being attacked. Invisible clinks. Not often and he, he whips his reality rift somehow. Not often that he has to buy a Shadow Blade to become invisible, but hey, whatever. He doesn't need invisibility. He has crits and life steal. And it looks like a couple dire heroes are actually about to get caught out. Here's the open wounds online. Sniper's so coming in on Tinker. Away. Pop! Kill shot. Looks like Nature's shot. Prophet's gonna be in a bad way. He tries to juke, but he doesn't have a TP scroll. He should have spent money on that, too. And Lion blinks into the trees. Rage, but you don't have TP, man. You aren't doing crap with that rage. You're, you're mad, but nothing's happening. They have vision, but Lion blinks away again. And Tinker so oh, they decide to go kill Witch Doctor instead. Problem is, this lion doesn't actually have a have TP. My sealer teleports back to Fountain does not regenerate enough health to not die to Maledict. That uh that sucks. Can you deny Maledict people or is it different than other things? I have no clue. I'm gonna go look it up. Thankfully, I can actually do that since I'm not the screen guy.
I don't want to. I don't want to learn about controlling creeps. Silly internet. You can deny heroes too. Nature's Prophet not doing too well so far. We're 20 minutes in, and all Nature's Prophet has is phase and a drum. Uh, I, I pointed out earlier he had more than enough money for centuries, but uh, didn't he do does it. have 1,700 gold, but he's not spending it on anything except a scroll. He bought a scroll so that he could, you know. Oh wait, no, that's Sniper. It's Sniper that's about to die. It is hey, totally uh, not fair that Chaos Knight has a ranged attack. Now. You, apparently you can deny the sun uh, if Phoenix is below 50% health while he's... if the sun's below 50% health. Hmm. That sounds hilarious. Does this mean my personal throwback? Yeah, I'm too lazy to see if Maldick would do it. It, it's, it wasn't listed on the list, but I don't know if the list is all inclusive or just examples, so I can't make a conclusive claim. Radiant's bottom tower has been destroyed. Another Radiant Tower going down, the second of this game. Two teams now even on towers, but there's no doubt that the towers that the... Uh, I forgot how I was going to finish that sentence. I don't even know how... I don't even know how you remember to start it sometimes. Sniper's got a force staff. He's got a plan. It involves killing the hell out of these people with, with assassinate. Oh man, that is not a happy death prophet. Does not manage to teleport out. And then Lion blinks in for no apparent reason. Lion was probably... Bomb. Lion was probably coming in to, to stun her with something else. Well, he wouldn't have gotten there in time. She was teleporting out. He had, he, he's to be commended for trying, and Life Stealer is to be reported for dying. I suppose. Sniper TPing out for. Oh, he's going to mid. I'm sorry. I thought he was going home. Blink gets Earth Spike, but he's already invisible, so it doesn't really do anything. Lion blinks forward. Here's the infest bomb. Here comes the snipe! Ha! Meanwhile, Nature's Prophet gets right clicked down, tower gets taken out. So, this is, uh... This is at least... I don't really have any way to say this, but, uh... If you're playing Dota and there's anyone, anyone who's ever invisible on the other team, or can teleport, or anything sneaky, you should probably invest in both kinds of wards. Chaos Knight has Scepter now. At this point, why not? It increases the... I, I haven't even seen him cast Death Ward yet. Uh, he casted it once, and then he, like, immediately died. Wasn't a very impressive use of it. I imagine not. Here it goes! Oh, there it is. Get some good use out of it. Yeah, run into it, Death Prophet. It won't hurt. Oh, you stopped it from casting. Good. Oh, this could work! He's dusted up and down he goes! Good kill! Of course, there's still several more dire heroes hanging around. It's 3-2 in favor of the dire. 4-2 in favor of the dire. That finger of death. So beautiful. I think that's in the. I think that's what some experts in the industry would call all the way bad. Possibly. Plenty good for us. It's fun to watch. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, unfortunately, this uh, dust that Death Prophet. Oh, N Nature's Prophet bought a Sentry. Sentry wards. I am astounded. I'm surprised Death Prophet knows that there are detection items in the game. Cause uh she seemed pretty surprised all those times invisible people came out of nowhere and killed her. Appears like Tinker is going full man mode. He's got his pro as heck four staff and Dagon combo. He has like he has Four different nukes now. Why would you not go pro as heck? 
I, I was being sincere. Seeing Fest Bomb. Just looking for his chance. It's to ruin some days so bad. Online, quit going away from enemy heroes. Oh, mid's going all the way bad for Death Prophet. Here's Lincoln and the Infest. Sniper's gonna take care of Lori, but. Oh! And he dies to. a catapult? I think it might have been the catapult. Siege creep too strong! Can't you look at the, uh. I'm going to. Thing? What's it called? Combat, Combat log. log. Chaos Knight is killed by Siege Creep for by for ten damage. Then the Siege Creep died. He was Rip. avenged. Zero through twenty-five. Zero three. Rest in peace. Haste. I would play the sad music from anywhere, but uh, copyrights plus computers a toaster. We really need to become a less litigious society. I know it's not Indeed. about nachos or anything, but it is important to the game. It looks like we're going to see one heck of a gank here, assuming it hasn't been spotted already. I'm guessing not. I'm throwing up a very aggressive board. There's another infest bomb. And the blink. I don't think he'll find anyone, though. No, we're, he's just going to find a few hits to the head from the tower. And for some reason, he's going to reveal the trick. That is a long cooldown, man. It's okay. He can just rearm it. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Call your teammates. They can't rearm that infest you got. Isn't rearm on the other Radiant's team anyway? Tower is being oh wait, no, it's Clink's really it. And he hasn't taken it. And I don't think he's ever gonna take it. To uh, he'll have to take it eventually. He can ignore it. He can ignore it. So this lack of warding uh, from the and Radiant team is game. going to kill them. Seriously, Even rearm plus any stun. Bottom tower is under siege. You know what's really funny? No. Rearm plus Marana arrow. You know what's really funny? Chaos Knight hitting a tower to death from range. Here's Sniper. Is and he, he can see Chaos. That now? Yep. This little range on that shrapnel is absurd. Why do you think they are successful? Why do you think there are very successful builds that take it first? Even if it's just for oh, the one gosh. point. So as we both know, some very success... In general, you're more successful if you take shrapnel early. Man, I feel sorry for Roche. He can't get in on the ability draft fun. I feel sorry for Roche. He could, he could only have three abilities. That'll be a nice, easy Roche taken. Free Aegis for whoever wants it. Since there's, you know, no wards. It's a, I, I, I can only hope that uh, the Dyer is somehow counter warding. That's the only way there's an excuse to have this few wards on the map. That's going to be one dead sniper unless he gets body blocked by a Death Prophet. He's going to run into anybody. A Death Prophet hates him. She body blocked him. Probably deserves to be reported, but uh, Sniper is going to be a chill guy and not immediately all chat that she should kill herself. Because this there is are Dota. a lot of everyone deserves a report. Everyone. To be fair, it's not even provable that reports do anything some of the time. Everyone. Very nice uh, stolen ulti from Life Stealer, dodging the stun. And Lice and Lice Healer's the next international. 
I I heard he was joining Navi. Navi Tate coming 2014. Unfortunately, this gets this completely destroyed by A Helsing and A Huafe. Unfortunately, these guys are joining Alliance. That's the joke that I just made. Oh. I should probably learn more about esports. <laughs> Dio's bottom tower is under attack. No fear wasn't lying, that was in fact his first kill. To be fair, I gotta stop saying to be fair. He has been farming a lot. I don't think he's died yet, has he? No! He's 1-0-2. He has not taken anything away from his team. And he's got a Scotty, so he can contribute massively now that he's farmed. Still can't get kills, though. Witch Doctor, too good. Is you he know, going I for a refresher? Witch Doctor, you mean? Yeah. Maybe. Could be going Bloodstone, but. And the Crystal Maiden DC. He Bloodstone. Maybe he'll get refresher next. Probably not. I'm saying optimistic. Game's not gonna last long enough for him to farm refresher. Nonsense, it totally will. They have it. Here's the funny thing though. Sniper's made the best of a really shitty shitty game. And to be honest, a build that doesn't really that doesn't really help work out when his team isn't protecting him with wards and stuff. And uh, Life Stealer going the way of the Dodo. I can only relate um, him saying that him saying that move was MLG, and then dying a few seconds later to that one epic self roche deny Whoa, during the international by Windrunner. I remember that. Radiance Radiant feeds the courier for some reason. Clinks was invisible. No, they they it. They flew it up like right behind him, like he was in, it was like controlled that way. I think they knew he was there. Uh, whatever. Radiance bottom tower is being attacked. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. So there might be some action about to happen. Bottom, visible witch doctor just looking for his chance. I think I'll find it though. Turn that fan off. I don't have a fan on. I can hear the wind blowing against your mic. Oh! Does that fix it? Uh, yes, it did. It was on top of the computer. Oh, no figure. Oh man, that death ward was stupid. <laughs> anyway, at this point, I'd say that this game is more or less over. Yep. And Crystal Maid just abandoned, and both, and uh, nearly instantly, almost all of the Radiant team follows her. Death Prophet's still in the game, though, for reasons unknown. She believes in her ability to not, in her ability, oh, there she goes. Uh, that would be GG, unofficially. Oh, it's a so oh, I'm sorry, go on. As I am given to understand, this is what most ability drafts look like. Yep. One I should actually play one sometime. One team gets a hilarious stomp, and the other team usually ends up having a lever. As a side note, uh... I have to ask you a question, Lumby. Do you think that a uh, concession system in general matchmaking would ruin or improve the game? Ruin it. And do you have a rationale behind that reason? No. Yeah. Whatever. Hope you this was LOTV. And the ever unlogical Shade Shine. Signing off. Sayonara.